Hi Rob, thanks for joining us. Can you tell us uh, why you first started developing the pink ball? Well, this was an interesting story because it came out of a, a phone call that I received uh, some three or four years ago from uh, uh, Carl Rackerman, the former Australian player, who was uh, putting together a, a match uh, in Queensland for breast cancer for, for women's cricket. And as a result of that, he asked if we could produce a pink ball for them to use in that particular promotion. And uh, we agreed to, and uh, we produced some balls. And as a result of that, we you have to produce more than he would actually need. So we had some surplus ones, and we thought, well, uh, you know, quite I don't know what we're going to do with these. But anyway, it so happened that Later that year, I was in the middle of the year, I was coming to England and uh, was going to see John Stevenson and uh, uh, to talk about cricket balls and night test cricket and all things general. And anyway, as part of that discussion, I pulled out of my bag a pink cricket ball, which uh, John, I think, was particularly taken with. OK, so we've now been using these balls for three years in the Champion County match. Uh, how do you think it's evolved since uh, 2010? Well, of course, the, in, in those days back uh, when I first showed him the ball, probably back in 2009, it was very much a prototype. Uh, we've spent a lot of time in developing and working on the finish. Uh, it's prompted us to consider day-night cricket. There were some trials carried out in Australia. Um, and we've worked on it and I guess the thing that uh, was probably is most noticeable is that uh, they, it was decided at a World Cricket Committee meeting that perhaps we ought to be looking at white stitching and as a result of that uh, John asked us if we'd produce, we'd produce some balls with white stitching and which we've duly done and uh, so we moved from after first year with green stitching to now white stitching and uh, I think the consensus of opinion talking to players and, and others that the white stitching seems to work well with a dark background. Great, so this is now the G5, how do you feel it's fared in, in these abrasive conditions in Abu Dhabi? Well, this year is far more abrasive than, than last year, and uh, I think that that's a good thing from, from a test point of view. Uh, we're happy with the way the wear of the ball's worn, uh, be it that, yes, it gets discolours, but the wear has uh, been more even, uh, it's been more consistent, and it's nothing different to what you would normally experience with a red ball. It's just that when it does uh, scuff and wear, it discolours uh, substantially, much the same as a red ball but it's not so obvious because there's no contrast in the colour. Thanks very much Rob.